The latest presidential poll here in Wisconsin has Mitt Romney now with a small lead over President Obama, still well within the poll's margin of error. It is the first poll since Romney named Janesville's Paul Ryan to be his running mate. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz tonight has balanced coverage. The Romney-Ryan mobile headquarters bus rolled into Kimberly with an extra boost on Tuesday. The latest survey from public polling policy shows Mitt Romney has overtaken President Barack Obama in Wisconsin, 48 percent to 47 percent. It is a seven-point swing from the national polling outlet survey in early July. Romney named Janesville Congressman Paul Ryan as his running mate between when the two polls were taken. Governor Romney selecting Paul Ryan signaled that he wants this to be a a serious debate, an election about big issues, a mandated election. Historically, we've seen anywhere from about 3 to 5 percent increase. And of course, because Ryan is a native son, you would expect similar or even greater uh, increases in, in Romney's polling here because of that. The poll reveals Ryan has the highest approval rating in Wisconsin of anyone on either presidential ticket. But the state is nearly split on Ryan, with 45 percent having a negative opinion of him. Sometime around middle September, I think we'll begin to get some accurate numbers about where the election stands. Retiring Democratic U.S. Senator Herb Cole says he expects a repeat of 2008. That's when then-Senator Obama won Wisconsin by 14 points. All along, pundits and pollsters have said that Wisconsin was likely a swing state. So that we're really seeing swinging going on is really not very surprising at all. Voters head to the polls on November 6th. Ben Krumholz, Fox 11 News. Now, tomorrow, there'll be another poll out. Marquette's Law School is expected to release its first poll since Ryan's VP nod. The poll will also have numbers of the U.S. Senate matchup in Wisconsin between Tommy Thompson and Tammy Baldwin.